you up from the hood nigga i will bag you back three back three back four yo What's up? Stop letting Madden and 2K trick you into opening packs when the odds really aren't in your favor. What, what? you need to be doing is going to DVDJ.com, the most that? reliable and cheapest MT and Muck coins around. And use my creator code MIZOL for 10% off your purchase. Now let's get into the video. Burn up. Yes, man, it really is me. Who? Me is Zool, aka the end stand burner, man. And this is the video a lot of you guys have been wanting. Bro, you make this video every year? Yes, nigga, I make this video every year. But a lot of y'all been hitting me up saying, yo, we need the 2K20 updated version. So that's what I'm going to be giving you guys today. I'm going to give you guys a deep explanation for every setting just in case you guys are new to the community and also i'm going to uh -oh. give you guys my personal settings uh before we get into that though bro i know some of y'all been asking yo can we run can i get an ad all that stuff bro i'm not trying to be disrespectful but i cannot add everybody bro that's why i Straight made this up. new account so i wouldn't have to add everybody but i will be playing with a lot of subscribers this year if you want to play with me bro i made a community bro i've been using this community for a couple years I haven't I mean I haven't used the community in a couple years but I'm gonna start back using it bro so if you guys want to run join a community fuck your community and I will put a post just like right here you see it was late it was 4 50 in the morning but I did put out a post out trying to run with some people but I know like I said it was early in the morning nobody trying to run with your trash ass man. but that's how I will pick people to run with when I do not have a squad because this year I'm not really worrying too much about the whole Straight record up. the whole all that I'm trying to have fun with this 2k uh, and meet some new people but uh to go to your settings bro first you want to match start then you want to go to controller settings like i said i'm going to go through everything the very first thing is your dual shock wireless controller speaker this is pretty much a personal preference uh me i keep this on just because a lot of times i have my game sound off so even when the game sound is off uh when the shot clock or something like that is running down it will actually come through the speaker on your phone just so you'll know so for me it's pretty helpful so i keep this on the next one is your vibration uh like i said another personal preference me personally bro i feel that i shoot better with it off plus man it's a de little delay because when you know if you shoot and you have vibration on it gives a little sh it's supposed to give a little shake whenever you're supposed to release it but like i said it's a little delay and i i really just don't like it so i always turn this off this next one is your shot meter uh this one just depends on you also man this is a personal preference me personally i keep mine off if you guys need your shot meter on i would suggest this i would suggest having it by your feet wow. instead of by your hand because it is a little yeah like a little delay when you have it by your hand compared to by your feet so i would take the 2k17 wave i miss 2k17 and have it by your feet if you have to have it on the next one is your pro stick function if you don't know what pro stick means it pretty much means right stick so anytime you see pro stick like you see pro stick orientation it means right stick i don't know why 2k has to be all fancy with it. just call it right stick 2k but this one says pro stick function you can have it on default you can have it on dribble moves for your dribble heads and you can have it on shots me personally if i was you guys i would have it on default even y'all dribble guys bro i would have this on default just because you don't want to put the game in 2k's hands by that i mean let's say you go to the rim if you go to the rim you want to be able to have full control over your player if you want to do a hop step layup to the right hop step layup to the left you want to be able to do all that you're not going to be able to do it if you have it on dribble moves uh you will be able to do it if you have it on shots but you wouldn't be able to dribble so i will have it on that if you want to dunk with your right hand if you want to do a two-handed dunk you want to be able to have full control and have situations because a lot of these trees man the block animations in this game are crazy bro so you flicking the stick a certain way could be the could be the defining factor between you laying the ball up or you getting that shit swatted in the bushes shit out of here nigga so for me i have this on, on uh default the next one is your pro stick orientation like i said that pretty much means right stick orientation do you want that on camera relative or do you want that on absolute that pretty much means when you're dribbling do you want to dribble on absolute or do you want to dribble on camera relative if you guys do not know what absolute means it pretty much means left is left right is right up is up anywhere on the court uh by that that i mean let's say that you're dribbling and you have it on camera relative if you have it on camera relative if you're on the right side of the court you want to do a simple cross oh if you're on the right side of the court you want to do a simple cross oh it'll just be left on your right stick 
versus if you had this on camera relative let's say you're on the right side of the court certain places it might be left on the right stick or it might be diagonal left just depends where you are on the court it makes it a lot easier to just have this on absolute all the drill moves are a lot cleaner and yeah a lot cleaner <laughs> just a lot cleaner and a lot easier to, to manage uh the next one is your off ball offensive mode this is pretty much how you move um when you're off ball it comes on absolute me i have this on camera relative not really a big big thing i don't really do too much off balling but it just makes the game easier when you can camera relative move with your left stick in my opinion so i keep this on camera relative the next one is your double team reaction it pretty much means determine when offensive team detects and reacts to a double team this right here i will have this on auto this is more like a my career thing so when somebody when you're getting double team if you have this on manual your player is just going to stand still and let you get the turnover uh on auto is you know they're gonna cut they're gonna get open stuff like that so on this one i'll just keep it auto the next one is call for a pick and roll versus fade and what it pretty much says is determine if the ai will auto select to roll or fade according to the player's tendencies pretty much what this is saying is when you're playing like let's say my career or you get an ai center on the part uh, he's gonna pretty much do when you call for the screen he's gonna pretty much do what your tendencies tell him to do so if you're somebody that likes to run a lot of pick and pop after a while once your tendencies say that all you're gonna have to do is just click code in l1 he's gonna automatically pop out uh but it's not a big thing because you can do it manually r l1 then r1 to roll a fade but it's just gonna go off your tendencies not a real big thing like i said but i keep this on auto the next one is player icons you should always have these on um skip pass pretty much determines if you can hold the primary pass button to the target receives far away that's pretty much if you want to pass which is x on the playstation if you hold it he will actually go to the second pass which is just skip so i would keep this enabled i don't see why you would ever disable this this is actually like a new feature i, I really rock with that feature the next one is your pro stick pass type you should never never ever 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 have this on flashy bro this should always be on normal because you don't want your passes to all be flashes because the passes the flashy passes are trash on this game mike wayne Balloomba. if you watching please fix the flashy passes man let me get a fix flashy passes in the comment section because they are trash on this game bro so you want to always keep this right here <clears throat> on normal uh the next one is your icon icon pass and you want to go ahead and just keep that on default receiver control this is another one you want to just keep it on the handoff pitch pass just to keep it simple the next one is your um pro stick defense like i told y'all earlier bro absolute means up is up left is left right is right when it comes to the pro stick defense it's pretty much when you're using your right stick do you want to like let's say you want to put your hand up which will be up on the stick if you have this on camera relative like i told you it's going to be certain parts on the court where you're pressing diagonal up diagonal left and stuff like that it's just a lot easier just to keep this right here on absolute man so go ahead and just keep this guy right here on absolute uh who to guard uh this is another one this one depends on for me what i'm playing if I'm playing straight park, if I'm playing park 2v2, 3v3, anything like that, I keep this on off. The reason I have this off is because, man, you don't stick as much, especially on the threes, especially with me. We like to play a lot of switch defense off of uh, double screens, you know, and um, crosses and stuff like that. And you, like I said, your player will not suck to that one player and he'll be able to switch quicker if you have this on off. If you're somebody playing wreck or something like that, me personally, I keep this on on just because it makes the game less confusing because you don't want to have to go up the court every time and be like, damn, damn, I got this dude, I got this dude. You know what I'm saying? You know in wreck, bro, dudes can wear the same number so you might get confused. It just makes it easier for your teammates too. So for me, like I said, I, on the park, on off, in wreck program, I have it on on. Uh, the next one, bro, is this This pretty much for me depends on what I'm playing. Me personally, bro, if I was you guys, just like I said earlier, bro, with the with the dunking and stuff, you want to try to keep the game out of 2K's hands. So if I were you guys, I would be iconing every, every pass when it comes to this, bro, just to be honest. You want to get in that habit, especially right now when a lot of people aren't good, bro, try to get in the habit of icon passing. I didn't start icon passing heavy until I think like 2K18 or 19, but it's way better because you don't want to press the button and you be like damn 2k i wasn't trying to pass it to him you know what i'm saying just icon pass everything but if you just cannot icon pass what you guys uh for the park for the park uh i i would do it like this bro you don't want to you always don't want to have this down I always have this down this is pretty much trash uh the next one is your pass target on the park bro this openness doesn't work that good 
like i had mine i was testing around what i had it up around in here and it's just trash because it was times bro when i was playing 3v3 and i would come off a screen and the center would jump me so i would pretty much be doubled and my center would be wide open butt naked to the rim bro and i would press the x button to pass and it would pass to my a nigga that's covered in the corner come on and get that. stolen you know what i'm saying like the openness is trash on the park bro so if i was you guys if you're playing park and you just cannot icon pass i would have it something like this bro something like this or even you can maybe put it down something like this but you want it to be past target direction what pass target direction pretty much is is when you press the x button to pass it's going to pick the pass that whatever your left stick is in the direction of. So if you have your left stick in the direction of left, it's going to pass to the person that's closest to the left. It just makes a lot of things easier, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of times, if you don't even think about it, bro, you, you're pretty much pointing that left stick anyway when you pass without even thinking about it. So if I was you guys, I would do it just like that if I'm playing park. Uh, if you're playing pro-am or if you're playing rec, you can actually do it. This, this works a lot, a lot better. Open this works a lot better in uh in pro -Am. so like i said you want to always have this down i would have it something like i would have it something like this bro something like something like in there if i was playing wreck or something like that you can make it a little higher if you want but that's just me i would have it something like that but that's it for today guys if y'all have any other uh requests on videos let me know in the comment section don't forget to hit that like don't forget to subscribe for more great content because i try to help y'all out with the little things in this game and y'all already know who it is burn up if your jump shot is broken and you want to look at the best for green light for yes four green light jump shots click on that box on your right if you want to check out my latest video click on that box on your left appreciate you for watching stay blessed